Oh my gosh. Do you see that? I was like, what the heck is making that sound? It's a great horned owl right out there. It's making that screeching sound. That is incredible. I can't believe we just stumbled across this guy. Literally hopped out of the car right there. And two minutes later, we're bumping into a great horned owl fledgling right here. That is incredible. I bet you this little clump of trees is where he was raised and that's why he's sticking around here. Cause it looks like he can barely fly, um, not very well yet, but, oh, there's a second one right there. Oh, it dove after something. It might be coming back with a meal. The adult great horned owl landed out in the field on a snag that I had a clear and slightly more aesthetic view of. He was preening, and I decided to try to work on capturing him with some of this nice backlighting above the mountains. And it turned out decent, but not amazing. While waiting, I decided to go back and grab my tripod to record some video. The great horned owl was still there when I got back, scanning his territory. I waited for him to fly off on a hunt, but instead, the juvenile owl decided to fly right in front of me, on a bush, and give me a nice, close-up angle. Fledgling's down on the ground now. He's looking around. He's so bold. This is amazing. While the owl was cool, the real reason why I drove over to the Sierras to this spot was to find some common nighthawk that I had never seen before. As the night was wrapping up, so was my lighting with the owl when something flushed overhead. It was literally a net hawk overhead. I was just going back to grab a drone and then it flew out. Oh crap. Are you serious? Oh man, come on. Oh, there he is, way out there. Way too far out though. I looked around some more and realized that there were a few hanging out in the distance over a small marsh pond. Luckily, I had planned on camping here overnight, so tomorrow I'll come back and try my hand at photographing these alien creatures, while tonight we'd call it and look forward to our next morning out at the small birding town of Aspendale. Aspendel is a small little town of a little more than 100 people that maintain this little village nestled up in the East Sierras. It's really become a birding town as many people here love birds and have built a small little community centered around them. People from all over the country come to visit here and capture some of the high subalpine birds that are hard to find elsewhere. So today, I'm setting out to try and capture some pygmy nuthatch and some Clark's nutcrackers that I've never photographed before my evening back tonight with the Nighthawk in the valley. To start off, I ran across a deer, but it was a very quick encounter through the thicket of white forest. So I kept walking down the road to see what else I could find. Stellar's jays were screaming from high up in the treetops. I was able to spot an American robin through the thicket in a moment of sunlight and some goldfinches flying around, but nothing I can't catch at home yet. A completely new type of squirrel I've never photographed before came down for a shot with some stunning foreground color I was able to incorporate in it. But I have no idea the name of the species, so let me know in the comments if you know it. I came across another deer grazing in the yard of a house, but this one was fearless and let me get its photograph without mind in this beautiful setting. It's hard to describe this beautiful and quaint little town, but it really feels like a tiny little nature paradise walking amongst the streets. After searching for an hour or so, I finally bumped into my first species I wanted to photograph, the pygmy nuthatch. They are such playful little puffballs that dance all around the pine trees, searching for seeds to pry open. 
The way these acrobats hang and dart around is enchanting. And after working on this family for a while, I finally got a half decent shot before they flew away. A wren was out feeding its young in a cavity, but a little while later and further down the road, I'd get a moment that I really came here for. A young Clark's anxiously awaits its meal from a parent. A black-headed grosbeak waits its turn in line, but gets chased away once again by the Clarks. What's interesting about this moment to me is that typically, Stellar's Jays are dominant species at a feeder like this. But in this area, these powerful Clarks of Nutcrackers take over and push the Stellars off the feeder to wait their turn. Just look at the massive spearhead beaks on these birds, and it's no wonder where they receive their Nutcracker name. After everything has cleared, the Stellars Jays make their way down, and the juvenile anxiously awaits its meal. The hierarchy of eating has been fulfilled, and after a while of watching this incredible behavior, I set off to discover a different behavior, that of Nighthawks, feeding at sunset. Nighthawks are incredible creatures with unique erratic flight patterns as they soar over the fields to catch insects in the air. These common nighthawks are different from the ones I've captured before in that they tend to stay high in the air. But this pond gave me a chance. Due to the abundance of insects hovering over the water, they would come down occasionally to grab a mouthful, and this is what I planned to capture. I started off capturing plenty of shots of them in flight as they flew through the air and quickly recognized my need to ditch the tripod and become versatile in my angles. I got down closer by the water's edge and was tracking them as they darted in every direction imaginable. Many attempts to photograph them were futile, with them being so far off, faced in the wrong direction, or bad backgrounds. But eventually, I landed a few that would suffice. Swallows were flocking everywhere, and as I moved over and out from the pond, I found the evening getting later and later as light was getting lost. For me, it was now or never, and just as I was getting to the limit of my low light capabilities for birds in flight, a common nighthawk swooped down and I got a photograph. I had finally captured a nighthawk eye level and jaw dropped to capture this fascinating behavior of them catching insects over the water with their huge mouths. What an incredible adventure out in the East Sierras, and I find myself in awe of this fascinating world that was handcrafted to be seen by you and I. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be honored if you subscribed, and if you want to see more videos like this one, check out this video here in the end screen.